This video is brought to you by my gorgeous New York City themed wallpaper pack, Skyline. Link in the description and details at the end of the video. Today I want to go over my personal iPhone setup with you and what iPhone setup would be complete without the iPhone itself. This is the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I got it in white titanium. I personally think it's the best color choice. Watch my YouTube short or TikTok on that if you're curious as to why. Uh, and I've had this for about a week even though I'm doing a little fake unboxing for you here and not doing a great job at it. Um, but anyway, I got, you know, again, white titanium also in the one terabyte capacity. I'm a photo and video fiend and I'm also a content creator so I never want to run out of space on my phone locally. You also may notice that I don't have a case on my phone and it's not just because I did that fake unboxing. It's because I just really haven't been liking fine woven as much as I thought I would. I was pretty optimistic in earlier videos saying like, oh, it feels like suede and like it'll probably wear better. Um, I don't know. I tried it for like a day and it just never stuck. Uh, somebody told me something that ruined this case for me. They said, you know, it feels like expensive paper and I haven't been able to like let go of that. And yeah, I just am not a fan of this. I mean, I'm probably gonna use it a bit just to sort of have more of an opinion on it later. But yeah, um, I've been going caseless with my phone. I got Apple Care Plus. So, you know, it's like an expensive case where I can use my phone um, haphazardly and break it and then bring it to the Apple store and fix the back glass for 29 or the front glass. But nonetheless, I'm trying to be more careful while enjoying my iPhone caseless. And this year it makes a lot more sense. Um, maybe not uh, durability wise because apparently the back glass is a little more fragile even though it's much easier and less expensive to replace. I'll be touching on that in a future video, but I mean, it just feels so much better in the hand, as I've said. Not only is titanium a wonderful material, but they have these really wonderful rounded edges, um, which make the phone so much more comfortable to have in your hand caseless. So I'm gonna rock my phone caseless properly for the first time this year, I think, and I'll tell you how that goes. There is, however, something I will attach to my phone, and that is a MagSafe power bank from Anchor. This thing is pretty sick. There are many colors available. Of course, I color matched mine with my phone, and I think it looks pretty great and feels pretty comfortable even without a case on your phone here, especially when you're low on power and you want something convenient and you don't want to have like a cable plugged into a power bank in your pocket. That's always goofy. This thing is really seamless. It also has this wonderful little folio aspect on the back, so you can prop your phone up like this to watch TikToks or short form or just have your phone, you know, propped up like this in general. You can also adjust your phone like so um, to use it in landscape as well. Oops, let me actually try to bring that back here. There we go, hopefully you can see what's going on here. I might have some B-roll to show you what that looks like. But yeah, really useful accessory, adds a lot of extra juice to your phone. I always charge this up at night and throw it in my bag or pocket when I'm going anywhere for a long period of time. Because if I'm being honest, the 15 Pro Max has decent battery life, but not improved from last year. It's a power hungry device, so you know, it's gonna eat through your battery. I get a pretty much full day of use out of it, but you know, it's nice to have some extra juice if you're really uh, heavily using your phone during the day. It also charges via USB-C, which is very convenient convenient now since you can charge your power bank and your iPhone with the same cable. And speaking of cables, I swear this is not sponsored. I bought a couple of these off of Amazon, six foot anchor cables in this sort of white and silver braided design. They look really wonderful. I'm um, paired with my white titanium phone and of course the anchor uh, power bank. Um, again, my video is brought to you by my Skyline wallpaper pack, which I'll be talking about soon, by the way. Um, but no, they didn't tell me to talk about these products. They're just nice. And um, yeah, I'll leave links to these in the video description off of Amazon, you know, affiliate links, support me. Um, but yeah, I like these cables. I bought a couple of them, not only just for my iPhones. I mean, you know, I'm a tech reviewer, so I have a couple, so I gotta have some USB-C cables on hand, but also too, they work with every single other uh, Apple device that I have, iPads, MacBooks, etc. So it's always good to have extra cables, but I really enjoy these. Moving on though, the next part of my iPhone setup also happens to do with USB-C, and this is the AirPods Pro second gen or third gen, I don't know, just second gen with USB-C, let's just call it that. Um, they're also a bit different because they also feature lossless audio or support for that, but otherwise they are identical to the Lightning ones. I wouldn't say upgrade to these, especially if you have a Lightning iPhone because you'll still be able to use your iPhone cable and your, um, you know, or the, or the Lightning cable to charge both your iPhone and the AirPods. But now that I have an iPhone 15, it's convenient to know that I can just use one cable to charge my AirPods phone and of course everything else here. I thoroughly enjoy these. They have incredible ANC and sound quality and, you know, support for lossless audio now if that's important to you. Um, great product. Uh, I really enjoyed these last year and I highly recommend them this year as well. 
The next component of my setup that I wanna to touch on is my watch. This is the Apple Watch Ultra first gen. I have really enjoyed it since I got it last year. On accident, the story goes, I thought the product was kinda of dumb when it came out and I thought I would never like it. Went to the store, wore it, immediately fell in love with it and have been wearing it since. It has excellent battery life here. Oops, I forgot, this is the button that controls or toggles control center now. It's at 100 right now, I've had it on all day. I haven't been out for too long, but this thing doesn't drain at all. Like I go through most days and it ends up having like 65 percent battery at the end so this is like a two-day watch unlike any other apple watch i've worn so it is a giant screen incredible battery life it's like an iphone on my wrist at all times and i think it looks really cool so um yeah is it for everyone no is it expensive yes but i personally really enjoy it and um, it also matches the titanium on my phone this year so as you can see it's color matched that's cute i mean you know not a reason to buy it but still Lovely product, I've really enjoyed it, and I plan on doing a long-term review of it, especially once I get my hands on a second gen so I can demo double tap and really have a better understanding as to what this product is about now. Moving on to what's on my phone though, first up I wanna talk about my wallpapers. These are my very own Skyline wallpapers. Long story short, I went to New York last year, I took a million photos there, and uh, I managed to pick nine of my favorites of some of my favorite buildings in Manhattan. And uh, my personal favorite is a World Trade Center 7. There's probably other ones you like too. Check out my link in the video description to this wallpaper pack. I'll probably pin a comment too with it. Yeah, I think they look super clean. They look really amazing on the lock screen as well here as you can see. And um, yeah, that's simply it. Um, let's go to my home screen now. I'm a simple man. My setup looks similar to last year. I have a weather widget up top so I can see if it's gonna be raining or cold or whatever. So I have the uh, temperature conditions at the times and all that. I also have a Notion widget. I'm really big on Notion. Um, I'm not the most advanced user, but I really like to use to-do lists. So I can, for example, go to my shot list here for a short form video so I can check stuff off. Um, this was for my um, iPhone white is the best color video. So I can check off these here. So that helps keep me on track and I can launch into that directly from the home screen, which is nice. As for my apps uh, here, I have FaceTime Photos, Camera, Docs, um, all you know uh, apps that I use quite frequently, Studio, YouTube, um, Productivity, some payment apps, Planet Fitness, um, a Shutter app if I wanna connect remotely to my uh, Sony cameras, Notion, of course, GCal, a banking app. Um, my phone app, which is conveniently right here when I wanna tap it, so if I open that up here, I can just close it and open it really easily here. Um, so that's put there you know, conveniently or for my thumb, pretty much. I also use the Gmail app, and funnily enough, I used to have like 26,000 unread emails, now I have 7,555, wonder why. Um, I use iMessage, Safari is my default browser, and Spotify is my music app of choice. I think it looks more aesthetically pleasing to me, that's it. Apple Music is pretty great too. I actually have it just for channel purposes, but yeah, I prefer Spotify. As for my second page here, I have a widget that shows what my batteries are looking like if I wanna see what's going on. I have an interactive widget. This is a new iOS 17 thing. I can turn off my display lighting in my living room with my studio display and MacBook Air setup. And I also have this here to turn off that sleigh sign. So that's always fun. Um, I also have the Spotify uh, widget so I can jump into my favorite artists or for example, my repeat or on repeat playlist that Spotify uh, created for me here and then I have a Gmail widget uh, so I can check my emails uh, which I do I promise even though my <laughs> my notification bubble says otherwise but yeah that's it um, is my setup anything extraordinary um, no you could argue it's also a little boring as is my color choice but um, I love it I love these products they really enhance my quality of life and the 15 Pro Max has been an excellent phone not perfect but really wonderful and of course it is enhanced even more with accessories like the MagSafe power bank from Anchor, um, the Apple Watch Ultra and the Apple or the AirPods excuse me uh, AirPods Pro second gen with USB-C. That's it again check out my Skyline wallpaper packs if you're interested stay tuned for more content and as always I'm Noah and I will catch you all in the next one.